So I'm just cruising home, sitting in traffic, you know, doing my thing, ready to go make some videos and stuff like that. And as I usually do, as I'm sitting here waiting for the next red light to sit out and stare at more cars, I, I had a thought. Uh, here it goes. I recently picked up the Fronius Magic Wave 230i. Hell of a machine. It's absolutely amazing. Really represents where technology is, where it's going, what it is, and all the rest of the stuff. And really raises the bar and uh, really brings to light as to what we think technology is in a welding machine. It really defines it, it you know, all the rest of that good stuff. But either way, you can you can see what I have to say about it in the in the in the review. But I got to thinking, what if the future of welding was more than what it already is right now and what would that look like so here's my vision como estas i'm hey. Fronius chris and welcome to the magic wave 230i I am the FCPWAT, which stands for the Fronius Chris Professional Welding Assessment Tool. Are you ready to weld? Yes! Seriously, I was just saying, I've been saying it forever. Like, I've always wanted to see, like, some new technology, like, some awesome stuff come out of a welding company. This is, like, make me a sandwich type of stuff. I cannot make you a sandwich. No? But I can teach you how to weld. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, I mean, like adjusting parameters and looking at all that stuff. I can not only adjust your machine parameters, yeah. but in real time, I can tell you your torch angles, cool. stick out, and travel speed. All right. Yeah. Dude. Seriously, I was just seriously telling my buddy about this. Like, I was just like, we got to get like some new types of technology. Like, you ready to weld? I mean, yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. Hey, I got a. Uh, oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I got I got some aluminum over here. Yeah, some some coupons here. Yeah, knock it out. Let's do it. All right, arc on. All right, Fronius Chris, give me your assessment. Based on the voltage reading, you're about 10.5 volts, right. which is about 40 thousandths contact tip to work distance. Not too bad. I need you to be somewhere around 9.8 volts. Can you lower uh, that, please? Yeah. yeah, a little less than 40 thousandths, I suppose. Yeah, I can, I can get lower, yeah, sure, what else? Based on the resistant values in the machine, I'm sensing quite a bit of burn through. Burn through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump your AC frequency up one to 121 versus 120. Okay. Yeah, 121 versus 120. I mean, I mean, uh, okay, but I mean, does it does it really make like that big of a difference? That much of a difference? Like, hello, difference of one hertz stuff. Like, you there? Don't rub me. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> What else? <laughs> Your travel speed is good, but okay. I counted 22 dabs. Right. In order to maintain that travel speed, I need you to bump that up to 22.8 dabs. 0.8 dabs? What is... <laughs> Hold on a minute. How do you get 0.8 dabs? Like, I don't understand Your what you're saying. Your travel speed's a little too slow. Well, yeah, I get that, but I mean... <laughs> how do you get... Eight tenths of a dab. You need like, a little bit more dippy dab. A, a dippy dab? What's a what's a dippy dab? A little I mean, dip dip. A what? No. Can I get a little? No, dip hold on. Dip. What, I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, can what I get is a beat point, to that dip dip? Beat. Like, what is what is dip, point? Dip 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 dab dab dab. <laughs> Guess you got a sense of humor. I do have a sense of humor. Okay, but. <laughs> What is, what, I mean, what, what is, what is eight tenths of a, you know what, what else? Never mind. What so else? based on the iTads, okay. you need to change your torch angle from 14.6 degrees to 14.1 degrees. Okay, well, what's an iTads? An internal torch angle detection system. Okay, I don't really understand. You got to change your torch angle, bro. Whoa, whoa, look, man, seriously, like, I mean, you all right there? I mean, can I get you, some, I mean, uh, 
can't give you water or anything like that or food. I mean, but I mean, do you need something? Are you healthy? You need com are you comfortable? I am not I mean, comfortable. I am a hologram built into the software. I mean, this yeah, I, I mean, I know that. You try I mean, fitting in a welding machine. I, I can't Have you fit seen in Aladdin? A that guy was I mean, not comfortable. Aladdin? What, what I'm ready it? to pop out my shell. Pop out of your shell, but I mean, it's like, what is it? Look. Whoa, stop. Hold on. Don't rub me. I'm not rubbing you. Look. Don't rub me. Okay. Do not hit the I'm machine. Not touching AC you. frequency. What, what's the travel speed. 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 Voltage. What are you doing? No puedo hacerte un sandwich. La frecuencia es reglable. Do not hit the machine. What? what? You know what? Ah, jeez. Man. Yes. I got such a job. I'm sorry, man. This is, this is not working. Thank you yeah. for choosing to You're welcome. Hopefully by the time that uh, technology is available, maybe they've got all the glitches and stuff like that already sorted out, so <laughs> one can only hope. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thanks a bunch for watching, as always. I'll catch you on the next episode. Oh, failure.